hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again this is tech pba so today um, we're going to look at um one issue that we've been before had or we've all faced before um sometimes when you are trying to browse you you know you have internet your 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 pc your laptop is connected to the internet but when you when you wish to um, browse on the internet, like go to websites, browse on the um, social media apps on your computer, or the social media websites on your computer, it just seems not to work. But your other devices connected to the same network um, or the same yeah internet um, network work perfectly but this particular pc or laptop will never um, give you the browsing access that you want so we're going to look at um, some of the possible resolutions or one of the possible resolutions to to this very issue the internet is working all right but when we open google chrome We try to browse, even by opening it, um, it should. Um, let's try to go to any of the websites like Microsoft com and see. But it says the sites cannot be reached. Um, so the possible one of the possible solutions to this is um, by resetting what is called the the windsock in Windows. So after you do all your checks and you make sure that um, you definitely have internet, uh, but you cannot browse, what we are going to do is to open or run or reset a particular component of Windows using the command prompt. So, how do we go about it? First of all, we'll search for the command prompt in the search box. So, we'll type CMD in the search box. And since um, this um, particular approach we are trying to make changes to the Windows operating system you would need to run as a as an administrator other than that it will not allow you to reset um, that particular component of the operating system so well, if you are a limited user it will not allow you unless you get administrator rights. So we'll run the command prompt as an administrator. Clicking on the run as administrator. Um, versions, you can right click on it and then select the run as administrator option. We'll click yes. This one. Okay, so we have um, the command prompt open. So the command to reset um, a component, the component is known as the windsock. So the command to reset the windsock is net sh space. Windsock space re reset. So it's net sh space windsock space reset, and we hit enter from here. Then it says successfully resets the windsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So from here. You can now go ahead and then restart your computer. And then 
after the restart, your issue should be resolved. Um, you can either click on the start button, then select restart from the power options, or um, that you can also um, use the command the command prop to restart the machine by typing shutdown space four slash r space four slash t zero then you hit enter to reboot your system okay guys so the computer or the system finished rebooting now we can go ahead and then test once again so let, let's do a search again microsoft so guys there we have it um we are able to browse the web now microsoft's um, website opened successfully after we reset the windsock um, the windows components so that's um that would do it for for now um